G'day viewers, Jason, June Delap Electrical Services. Uh, today's video is about the subsidies that we've got available in Australia. We've got the federal subsidy, and if you live in Western Australia, we've also got the state subsidy. Now, these are the rebates that are on offer, and just wanna try and clarify um, or clear up a few myths around this. Now, you may see adverts pop up that you may qualify for the government subsidy, rah, rah, rah. It's, a lot of those are just complete bullshit. Basically, every house in Australia is entitled to the battery and the solar panel subsidy. There are no qualifying um, postcodes and that sort of thing. Uh, as far as the PV STC one goes, which is for your solar panels, that can be claimed multiple times on a property. The battery one can only be claimed once. Now, typically the subsidy is offered as an upfront discount. And that's what I'm going to try and explain is how the process works. Now, all this information is available to anybody. Um, you can find the information online and I'm gonna explain where to find it and how these values are worked. Your solar quote. All this information should be relatively transparent as far as the amount of STCs or small scale technology certificates that have been created and how much your um, rebate or subsidy actually is. That should all be clear on your quote. Um, so I'm gonna try and break it down a bit for you. Um, so the cheaper home batteries program is also the federal subsidy, it's the same thing. Sorry, June 30, we got the battery STC for the batteries. Now those two uh, can vary and they can be manipulated in your quote, which I'll explain a bit more also. Um, the state subsidy is a fixed amount, but there are qualifying uh, components to that subsidy, which I'll explain also. So for the federal subsidy or the cheaper home batteries program, the system must be VPP capable. Now it doesn't mean it has to be on a VPP, it just means it needs to be capable of it. Now. VPP stands for Virtual Power Plant and it enables basically the network operator to take little bits of your power if and when they need it, which I'll explain on the state subsidy. So for the federal one, it must be capable, but it is not activated or used, okay? The system must be between five and 50 kilowatt hours for the subsidy amount. It can be as large as 100 kilowatt hours but between 50 and 100 kilowatt hours, you can't claim the subsidy. The subsidy only applies to this value here, from five to 50. You can only claim it once per home. Now that's for the battery STC only. The PV STC you can claim multiple times, but the battery one you can only claim once per household. It reduces each year and it will expire in 2030, and that applies to both of those. Now, the subsidies are being created because Australia has a renewable energy target and uh, this is to incentivize consumers to install solar and batteries. It's a very convoluted subject um, that I may del delve deeper into. Uh, a lot of people argue that it makes your power more expensive. If you're not on it, it's great. If you're not in on it, then Yes, it is driving uh, power prices up a little bit for sure. Um, but I might get into that further in another video at a later stage. So as I said, these two components here are variable and they can be manipulated on your um, quote from your solar retailer. If you want to find out how many STCs you're entitled to, you can go to the Rec Registry website and you can check on there. There is a calculator, which I've got on here. So in the drop down menus there, you select solar. Uh, it had, also has an option for batteries, so you can use this uh, calculator to calculate how many STCs you're entitled to for both solar and batteries under the federal rebate. The size of the system, how long the deeming period is, the postcode. Now just on the postcode, um, that is relevant because different areas of Australia you can claim different amounts of STCs. So for example, Tasmania, where it's uh, not getting as much uh, sunlight hours during the day, 
they can't quite claim as many STCs as we can in Perth and um, also in Darwin where they get a lot more sunlight over the year that you can claim more STCs up there. Now as far as the actual, so that gives you the amount of STCs or um, certificates that you can create from the size of your system and then you can work out the value of them by going to um, STC traders such as Trade in Green which is who I use so if we go to Trade in Green's website and that's the value of their certificates there so for me it would be unregistered and $37.25 for each certificate so you would add them up your battery STCs and your PV STCs in this instance down in Bustleton it's 461 times $37 that gives you the value of the rebate okay now I've only applied the federal one in this example I'll talk about the state one in a moment now I've written here that STCs are a commodity this value because it's a commodity can fluctuate it can go up and it can go down so many retailers will just use a, a figure possibly slightly lower as I as I have done here uh, to calculate the rebate which they give you as an upfront discount okay and then they apply for that rebate uh, once the installation is done they'll be required to take a series of photos on their phone through the um, form bay trading app and you'll also be required to sign it to declare that the system has been installed and um, it's operational now all that is required because of um, past examples of fraud, um, Shonky operators um, claiming more STCs than they should be, or saying systems have been installed and they actually weren't, or it's also a requirement that the systems are installed by an accredited installer, and, and that accredited installer must be on site. So we also have to declare via the app, which is geotagged, and take selfies of us. Um, as proof that we are on site. Now it is a commodity like I just said um, so they can go up and down. Um, they're very stable these days but in years gone by um, they did actually fluctuate quite a bit um, and a lot of retailers and installers got caught out uh, because we would process the STCs at once the installation's been done and find out that the rebate that came back to us was actually a lot less than what we gave as an upfront discount. That was quite a while ago now. They are definitely a lot more stable these days. Um, but yeah, generally those figures can be manipulated, but if you're wondering and you wanna find out what you're entitled to and the rough value of it, these two websites, you can get all the information and you can work it out yourself. It's really not that difficult. And um, like I said, this should all be relatively transparent on your quote that you get. Right, the WA state subsidy. So um, if you're on the Synergy network or the Horizon Power network, there is an additional subsidy on top of the federal one that you um, can uh, apply for. This is a fixed subsidy, and if you're on Synergy, it's $1,300 maximum. If you're on Horizon Power, it's $3,800 maximum. There are conditions to this one. I'll run through some of them here. Again, you can simply go to Synergy's website and learn more about the actual subsidy for the state-based scheme. That's Synergy's website, and you can scroll down, and it gives you all the information there. So basically you've got the three websites, Synergy or Horizon Power, you can go to that one, the Rec Registry and Trading Green for the value of the certificates. That's the value. Now you must be on a VPP for two years to claim the WA state subsidy. So different to the federal one where it must be VPP capable for this one, VPP, you must be on it for two years. So again, VPP is virtual power plant, and this enables them to take little bits of your battery uh, when they need it to help provide a more stable grid for everyone. And that's another video in itself, but uh, I won't get into that now. 
Um, you must be on there for two years. There will be a maximum of 30 events per year. Now that's not guaranteed, but it's just a maximum of 30 events. Now an event is uh, an instance where they'll take energy from your battery. They may also charge your battery, force charge it from the grid um, with the foresight of an event coming up where they need to take energy from it. It expires on June 30, 2026. There is also a no interest loan available up to $10,000, which is means test means tested and the threshold for that is a compi combined household gross income below 210,000 per year. When Synergy or Horizon take energy from your battery you can earn money for that and it will vary. Again you can go to their website to find the values. Now not every installer retailer can offer the WA state subsidy I have chosen not to be part of it. Um, it does take up a lot of admin time and there are ongoing fees for uh, the installer or the retailer to be part of this program. And for me, the pain wasn't worth the gain, so I've chosen not to be part of it. Uh, so they, the installer or the retailer must be um, part of the NETCC program and registered with Plenty, who facilitates the rebates and the interest-free loan. So some other little things that popped up after I wrote up all this mess, things that you people don't always understand. Off-grid can claim PV and battery STCs under the federal subsidy cheaper home batteries program. So if you are off-grid, you can also claim this subsidy here. That is a, a fairly common myth. People think that you can't claim the subsidy if you're off-grid, you actually can, okay? Um, the inverters must be on the Clean Energy Council approved product list. It must be installed by an accredited installer. Grid Connect can claim both. So if you're on a grid connected home, you can claim the cheaper home batteries program and you can also claim the WA state subsidy if you are grid connected. All right, so in this example where I am in Bustleton, it's 461 STCs. Now this is the federal only rebate because I am not registered for the WA1. And the total rebate amount was 297 STCs for the battery, 164 for PV, which gave me 461 in total, times 37. So the total upfront discount is 17,057. Now I say upfront discount, that's because again, we apply that vol that amount as an upfront discount and then we claim that on your behalf. It's just a much easier process. As a homeowner, you can claim the STCs, but it's, again, the pain's not worth the gain. It, you're far better off just letting the retailer or the installer claim that on your behalf. So that's a huge incentive. A job that would normally, you know, a job like this would normally be up around the $40,000 mark and now it's only costing them around the $23,000 mark. So huge incentive. If you've got any other questions, you can hit me up in the comments uh, or you can go to those websites, which I'll put links in the description for you. So hopefully that demystifies everything a little bit um, and uh, provides a little bit of clarity and you can go searching for that information um, to make sure that you're getting the right amount of STCs and the right amount of uh, discount applied to your uh, solar and battery project. Cheers for watching.